Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, thank you. How are you? I'm bad. Really? Yeah. What happened? I have a headache hmm. all day. All day? Yes. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you take any medication? Yes, I... Paracetamol. <laughs> a painkiller. Yes. That's how you call it in English, a painkiller. Painkiller. Yes. All right. Well, I hope everybody's great. I hope everybody's all right. Everybody's having fun. Everybody is doing okay. I know some days can be really tough. Some days are not that easy. But everything is going to be all right. Sooner or later, things are going to be over. Oh, my goodness. Juliana is at a graduation. Jesus Christ. I just came from a graduation ceremony, too. <laughs> but I have to leave the place because of the class. Sorry. Well... This is our class number 19, yes, one before the last one, tomorrow is the last class, and of course, we're going to be enjoying and learning, okay, all right, good, this is our class for today, Thursday, March the 30th, right, March the 30th. Tomorrow is the last date of March, and that's going to be all right. We're going to finish just the last date of March. All right. The important information that we have to remind, like every class, it's a great thing to have a reminder. I'm going to give you some minutes for you to discuss some problems that you could have with the platform, some questions that you could have with the exercises from the platform some questions or some exercises that you are not yet completed on the platform about the last session the session four or the exercises from the final exam as well okay so before anything else happen okay we're gonna use imperatives to give directions to important sites in their city that's basically what we're going to be doing, okay? Before that, before we start with the content of the class, yes, we have to take attendance. I have to take attendance and I have to switch my earphones because these earphones are not working very well. I have some difficulties with my earphones. So give me one second, please. I need to get new earphones. Okay. <laughs> let me check, let me check. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Liliana, Laura, say hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Nice. How are you? Good? Everything good? Okay, nice. All right, let's have the attendance. Let's have the first attendance. Where is it? It's right here. Oh my God. Let me see. Where is your name? Today is Thursday. Adelaida Carolina. Not here. Creo que tiene problemas con el audio. Hi. Hi. Thank you. 
Cindy. Ay, con la cámara. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Dani, Dani, not here. Tatiana. Present. Hello, Dolores. No. From Lake, no. <laughs> de Los Angeles. She's not here either. No? Present. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Edwin? Not here. Juliana, it's as a listener. Gloria? Present teacher. Good evening. Guillermo? Not here. Liana Estela, Iliana Estela, I'm sorry. Not here. Oh God, Jose Miguel. Not here. Julia. Hi. Eh, no, eh, están mandándole mensajes por Zoom. Chao, pues, ¿eh? Really? Yes. <laughs> I only have two messages. I mean, three, but only from Juliana, from Tatiana, from Daniela. So thank you. Anyways. Okay. All right. Julio, not here. Carla, y Dari. Is Carla here? No. Lady. Present. Hi. Liliana Laura. Omar. Present teacher. Y me pone de hoy a la hora, por favor. All right. Thank you. Omar. Not here. Xiomara. Is Xiomara here? No. Okay. The attendance is poor. <laughs> Okay. Daniel is feeling sick. Juliana yeah. is at a graduation. <laughs> and the rest of people are just listeners. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one that is gonna be speaking English only. Oh my god. For an English class, that's kind of hard if you ask me. Yes? Because I'm the one that should speak less. You are the ones that should speak like 90% or 80% at least. 80 20 so i hope that you at least participate in some exercises all right okay, Great. Sure. okay. yes let's make the effort i know it might be a bit hard sometimes but just as a listener not everybody can be as a listener i mean maybe one or two but not the whole class all right well as I mentioned before, the objective of this class is going to be to use imperatives, right? To give directions to important sites in your city. Here it says in their city, but it's your city, in your case, of course, right? In our city, but we all live in different cities, so it's gonna be, yes, the challenge to locate places, of course, do you remember the vocabulary from yesterday? The places in a city, for example, bank, restaurant, gas station, hospital, Coatepeque Lake. <laughs> what about Coatepeque Lake? What's up with Coatepeque Lake? Do you live there? Uh, no. So what do you want to say when you say Cuatepeque Lake? Uh, it's an important place in Santa Ana. Ah, it's a tourist place from Santa Ana. Yes. All right. It could be that some people ask for address if they want to go to, a, I mean, to the lake. That's great. All right. So, let's see. Okay. To ask and provide short oral 
and written instruction to get to a location of a place that's going to be the challenge as well and if you are driving this is good vocabulary practice roundabout intersection avenue road directions right and of course <laughs> okay these are some of the expressions and questions that we usually use when we talk about directions okay where is the and the place that you want to go where is the restaurant from here right excuse me sir i'm looking for i'm looking for the gas station i'm looking for the bank i'm looking for the atm or whatever so where you see it like the line it's a place that you have to name right so how do i get there how, how can i get there do you know the directions to pardon me what are the directions to what is, is the way line? to all right so this is a the vocabulary okay and also you can say how do i get to how can i get to yes how do i go to that's another way to ask the question for direction please tell me please give me the way to can you help me could you help me i want to go to can you give me directions to could you tell me the way to can you could you tell me how to get to i mean this is a little bit more advanced but this is some of the vocabulary that we were using yesterday to give directions to give instructions okay or to ask for directions to ask for addresses from one place to another as well okay so this is what we're gonna be studying all right this is what we're gonna be putting into practice just one second please i just need to get the manual give me one second okay for you to have a better reference of this material on the manual i'm going to show it to you as well one minute one minute please this is almost the end okay of the yes let me see let me see let me see okay here we go okay so this is how to use imperatives when you ask how can i get to the gas station from here now, could you direct me to the gas station from here how can i get oh how do i go to the gas station from here so these are usually the instructions that we go i mean that we say go straight go past turn left turn right go up remember like yesterday we said walk up go down or walk down the street yes walk down the street go on for two blocks take the first lap or take the first ride and this is what we usually give as instructions to go from one place to another of course we um we have this explanation do the phrases above that have a subject yes or no use a, uh, a verb without a personal pronoun and imperative to give directions okay the more i speak the less you practice the less you understand so i'm going to give you some minutes to analyze this information these are some of the places that you can go to the atm to the bank to the gas station to a restaurant to the hotel right of course we need a map to do that but before we do that i'm going to give you some minutes for you to practice the vocabulary that i provided with before let me see yes and the powerpoint that i was showing previously there is this vocabulary one second all right it's just right here okay i want you i need you to practice this vocabulary try to substitute this space for a place in the city where is the bank from here or where is the hotel from here where is the park from here where is the mall from here excuse me sir i'm looking for 
I'm looking for the restaurant. I'm looking for the gas station. I'm looking for the ATM. So, cuando encuentran este espacio, tienen que poner un lugar. Yes? Y así practicar las expresiones y las questions. Is that clear? It should be. <laughs> Al parecer Guillermo solo está de oyente. Ok. Mire, teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, eh, dije que solo íbamos a poner como lo que hacía falta, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Un lugar, un lugar de la ciudad. Uh -huh. 
Olis. Dani. Me habían dejado sola con Guillermo y él está solo de ayer. Teacher. Hi. Uh, no me siento bien. Creo que me voy a dejar. Okay. Ya mañana sería la última, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Entonces right. mañana me, me conecto. All right. No problem. Thank you. Library, me ocupé en el primero. Where is library from here? Ah, y en el okay. segundo ocupé bank. El otro es, do you know the direction to que es school? Cinema. Y contestaron la que, la que pusieron, puedo llegar ahí. ¿Cómo puedo ¿Cómo llegar, puedo ahí? llegar ahí? Ajá, no veo. Ahorita no le he contestado. Todavía no hemos llegado ahí. ¿eh? Solo estoy complementando las partes que tienen los tres puntitos. Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you get? Do you know the direction to? Para ir. Es que es en español. Es, ¿Tú conoces la dirección de? ¿Sabes la dirección A? No parece a mí. Ajá. ¿Sabes la dirección A o sabes la dirección D? ¿O sabes cómo puedo llegar a, digamos, un ejemplo a Cinepolis o algo así por el estilo? Ajá. Casi todas son así de, de preguntas hasta dónde llegar a dónde. ¿Dónde está una dirección? ¿O me podría dar una dirección? Son todas las maneras de cómo preguntar. Uh -huh.
Yo, yo, yo creí que perdón, solo se dice pardon, solo la A cambia. Uh perdón. -huh. No, pardon me. Ah, sí, pardon lleva mí. Ajá. Interesante, ¿verdad? Ah. <risa> uh -huh. Sí, es como perdone o algo así. Perdone, disculpe. Ese se oye bien por light. Okay, did you finish completing the phrases?
All right, the idea is to practice English, all right? Okay. Ah. Uh. All right, so here on your manual, you have this imperatives. Imperatives are instructions for directions. Not necessarily you give imperatives only when you give directions on a map or in a city or to give locations. You can give uh, imperatives whenever you give an instructions to someone, okay? You say, go there, come here, close the door, pick up your notebooks, whatever you say to someone to to do the action, so you're giving an instruction and you're giving an imperative. But here we apply the imperatives to the use of directions. It says asking for and giving directions. Good morning, could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? Good morning, sure, walk down the street and turn left. Thank you, no problem. So this is a very short conversation that we can practice, okay, and then of course, the manual asks you to work in pairs, draw a map, and choose the locations for the places in the picture below. So you are supposed to draw a map here and locate the ATM, the bank, the gas station, the restaurant, and the hotel on a map. And then you are supposed to practice this conversation, but I'm not even asking you to do so. I'm just telling you to at least read, right? And then, of course, um, you can ask for directions in different ways. That's why I gave you the vocabulary to practice the direction. Okay, and on this lesson, it says request and provide instructions about the means of transportation to get to a place. ¿Cuáles son cinco formas de transportation que ustedes conocen? Can you name five means of transportation? Las pueden escribir igual en el chat. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi, when you travel? Why? Okay, five means of transportation. Cinco formas de transportarse. On the chat, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Igual, well, pueden escribir las cinco formas y hasta aquí han escrito las cinco palabras, le dan enter para que no le vaya a caer así como separado. Motorcycle, plane, train, helicopter, vehicle, car, bus. Mm -hmm. Da igual, pueden escribir en el chat si prefieren transportarse o do you prefer to drive or do you prefer to go around by bus, by taxi, 
Okay. ¿Cuál es su forma? Prefer. What's the way that you prefer to transport? Okay. I prefer to drive a car or I prefer to call a taxi or I prefer to go on a bus. Ese es el tipo de versiones que deberíamos escribir. I prefer to drive. Exactly. I prefer to walk, to ride a bicycle, to go on a motorcycle, to drive a car, or to call a taxi. All right. What do you usually, uh, what type of, or what kind of transportation do you usually use? For example, you can say, oh yeah, I like to drive, but I usually, I usually go, I mean, to work on a bicycle or I walk or I take the bus, it's cheaper, it's not expensive. Uh -huh. My way of transportation is a bus. So I usually take the bus to work or I usually take the bus to go around, to go to different places, right? Mm -hmm. Complement the sentences because sometimes we limit ourselves to just one single sentence or just one word. And we can express in a different way. All right. Who else? ¿De qué otra forma se transportan? O la más común. I usually walk. I usually take a taxi. I usually call a taxi or a private Uber, whatever. I prefer to walk, but usually transportation is the bus. So yes, I like to walk, but I usually take the bus because I'm late or it's faster or it's more efficient, right? Mm -hmm. I usually take the bus. Great. Mm -hmm. Bye. Perfect. One second, please. All right. Okay, I always drive somebody else. Come on, let's see. Oh no, that's a slide with this one. Okay, great. <coughs> Sorry. Airplane, car, bus, motorcycle, train. Okay, we don't have trains in El Salvador. We used to have. Now it's just in a museum. And probably they use it more for um the things that they used to import from the they call an Agahutla port. They used to transport like um, raw materials or things that we import to our country. All right. Okay, here you have a map. What do you have here? On um, Eldon Road. You have in the beginning. ¿Qué tenemos? ¿Qué lugares encontramos en esta serie? A ver. Mr. Omar. Bakery. Bakery. Supermarket. Supermarket. Coffee. Uh -huh. What you should say? Cafe. Music shop. Uh -huh. Cinema, news agents. Uh -huh. Here, new agents. New agents, news agents. Usually, news agents is places where you can buy magazines or newspapers, right? Uh huh. You have a park, probably. Uh huh. Books, stores. Stores. is usually a flower shop. Then the bookshop, right? Here. Art gallery. Art 
art gallery, art gallery. Okay. music shop music yeah. shop club shop club shop toy shop toy shop and fast food restaurant fast food restaurant and chemis 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 like k k chemis exactly Chemist is usually a synonym for pharmacy, for mm. chemistry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it comes from chemistry. All right. Si yo estuviera acá, frente a la bakery, y le digo, excuse me, how do I get, aquí estoy frente a la bakery, y me pierdo. <laughs> Wait a second. Vamos a buscar el puntero de para que se nos haga más obvio donde eh, estoy. Hay uno que tiene con la mía, ¿verdad? ¿no? Negrita. ¿no? I'm here. Todos son mis toditos. I went to the bakery because ya I love dessert. Así uno tiene uno así. Diana, ah. ponga mute. I did already, thank you. All right. Estoy aquí en bakery. Que me gustan los desserts. I love desserts and I go to buy coffee with desserts. And I need to go to the fast food restaurant because I need to buy some food. And I say, excuse me, how do I get or how can I get to the fast food restaurant? ¿Cuál sería la instrucción inicial que me darían? Walk or go straight ahead. Walk down the street, cualquiera de esas frases wow. es válida. Yes? Okay, go or walk down Eldon Road, go past the toy shop, and you will see the fast food restaurant on the right, across from the cinema, next to the toy shop. Tal cual hicimos el ejercicio ayer, okay? Eso es práctica nada más. Pero si yo viniera de aquí mismo, de la bakery, para la music shop, ahí no podría solo irme recto, ¿verdad? tendría que ir acá y doblar. The corner of... Turn. 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 Rest. Turn. Right. Turn. Yeah. Right. They say go down the street or go down Elton Road to Bath Street and so on right. You will see the music shop on the left next to the art gallery across from the bookshop, right? Estas son algunas de las frases que pues nos ayudan, ¿verdad? A dar las directions. Turn left, turn right, go straight on or go straight ahead, walk down the street, walk down the road. Y luego que nos complementamos con también es turn right, turn left, walk around, si tuviera que ir a, a un redondel, walk around, go to, vaya hasta ese lugar, go over, go past the, o sea, pa, al pasar ese lugar, right? So this is part of the practice of the vocabulary we studied yesterday. One second, please. Okay. I just don't like these things. Wait a second. All right. Okay. Bye. Tenemos esa conversation que vamos a practicar, obviously. Y dice, excuse me, is there an ATM near here? Yes, there's one in the Union Bank. It's on Mason Street. How do I get there? Go straight ahead on this street for two blocks. Turn right on the Park Street and go one block. Then turn left on River Street and walk about half a block. The bank is on the left next to the supermarket. Don't go into the bank. The ATM is outside. Okay, right on the Park Street and then left on River Street. That's right. Don't worry. It's easy to get there. Thank you very much. Bye. Esta vez no vamos a practicar en pareja, ni en grupo, ni nada. 
Vamos a practicar individualmente leer toda la conversation. Luego, cuando regresemos, igual ustedes la van a tener que leer una por una. Cada uno de los participantes. Vamos a estar en breakout rooms en caso de que usted necesite ayuda de alguno de los compañeros con alguna palabra de pronunciation, pues la puede consultar. Si nadie tiene como la respuesta, pues la puede investigar. O si quiere que su compañero lo escuche como usted lo hace, también se lo puede solicitar. Yes. Thumbs up. Ok, teacher. Good. Okay. ¿Quién, verdad? Cada quien, cada quien la, la va a hacer. Y si, digamos, no entendemos algo, si no podemos apoyar con los compañeros. O sea. Ok. Ajá. Así que, si quiere, ponga mute para que así. Sí, vamos a practicar. Ok, cualquier cosa a la orden. Ajá, ay, espérame, que se me salga este chumbo. Qué bonito. ¿Qué le dice? Ay. Ahí está. Ahí está, gracias. Bueno. Ay, no sé, es que quería doy mi internet, espérame, espérame. Si no, no se preocupe, lo agarramos de allá. De... Sí, si quiere. Va. Va, Ahí está. Hello. Hola, María.
Vaya, yo. Excuse me, is there an ATM near here? Yes, there is one in the Union Bank. It's on Mason Street. Who do I get there? Go and try ahead on the his strip for two blocks. Turn right on Park Street and go one block. Then turn left on River Strip and walk about half a block. The bank is the the bank is on the left next to the market. Don't go, don't go into the bank. The ITN is outside. Okay, right on the park strip and then left on river strip. That's right. Don't worry. It's easy to get help there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Vaya, Daniel. Okay, voy yo. Excuse me, is there an ATM near here? Yes, there one in the Union Bank. Is it on Mason Street? How do you I get here? I how do do I get there? Go straight ahead on this street for two blocks. Don't ride on the park, the street, and go what block. Then turn on, on River Street and walk about half a walk. The bank in on a left next to the supermarket. Don't go into the bank. The ATM is outside. Okay, right on Park Street and then left on River Street. That's right. Not worry. It's easy to get there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Finish. Bye, Omar. Falta usted. Omar.
Okay, who's ready? I'm ready. Yes. Right. Awesome. You should start with Daniel then. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay. One moment. Okay. Excuse me. Is there an ATM near here? Yes. There one in the Union Bank. It's on Mason Street. How do I get here? Go straight ahead on the street for two blocks. Turn right on Park Street and go one block. Then turn left on River Street and walk about half a block. The bank is on the left next to the supermarket. Don't go into the bank. The intimate is outside. 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 Okay. Right on Park Street and left on River Street. That's right. Don't worry. It's easy to get here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, good. It's easy to get there. There. Remember, this sounds like a the there. How there. do I get okay. there? Right. The second person that was ready? Tatiana in Gloria. Okay, let's listen to Tatiana and then Gloria. Okay. Ready. Excuse me. Is there an ITM near here? Yes, there is one in the Union Bank. It's on Mason Street. Who do who do I get there? I get there. I get there. Yes. How how do I get there? How do how do I get there? Yes. Go a strip. Go straight ahead on this strip for two block. Turn right on Park Strip and go one block, then turn left on River Strip and walk about half a block. The bank is on the left, next to the supermarket. Don't go into the bank. The ITN is outside. Okay, right on Park Strip and then left on, right on River Strip. That's right, don't worry. It's easy to get there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Then it's Gloria, right? Good. Okay, teacher. Excuse me. Is there an ATA near here? Yes. Here one in the Union Bank. It's one is on May Mason Street. How do you, how do I get it, get, there. get it? How do I get there? How do, how do I get here? There. Go a street ahead uh -huh. on this street for two block. To right on Park Street and go one block. Then to left on River Street and walk about half 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 a block half a block. The bank is on the left next to the supermarket. Don't go into the bank. The ATM is outside. Okay, right on Park Street and the left on River Street. Uh, that's right. Don't worry. Is very to is is <laughs> perdón, is is easy to get 
there together. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Ooh, bravo. <laughs> it's easy to get there. It's easy to get there. All right. Next. Me. Next. Ready. Okay. Go. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there an ATM near here? Yes, there's one in the Union Bank. It's one Mason Street. How do I get there? Go straight ahead on this street for two blocks. Turn right on Park Street and go one block. Then turn left on River Street and walk about half a block. The, the bank is on the left, next to the supermarket. Don't go into the bank. The, uh, the ATM is upside. Okay, right on Park Street, and then left on River Street. That's right. Don't worry, it's easy to get there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, bravo. Someone else? Another brave participant? Mm -hmm. No more? Questions? No questions? No teacher. Clear. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. All right, perfect. Let's see. Okay, give me one second. Okay, here we go. This was part of the practice from yesterday, of course, right? But yesterday we were given directions. Well, I hope it's not that bad, actually. We cannot give, like, direction of a specific city because we all live in a different city. So how do I get to Metro Center if I'm not good by university? But that is for the case of the ones that live here in San Salvador. But if you live in another place, another city, so it has to be related to the places where you live. Where is the coffee shop at? What's the direction to? What is the tourist way to? So different way to ask for a direction. All right. Then these are some of the vocabulary that we're going to be practicing for roundabout. Now it's more common than before to have roundabout. Okay, this is the intersection. This is oh, kind of difficult, I think. This is the avenue, direction, and road. Hmm hard to understand and then we've got as road for, is linea recta or no, road is una carretera ah, ok ok mm -hmm. generalmente las, las calles en la ciudad son streets de así es como más afuera por ejemplo la Claudia Lars is a road the road to Santa Ana the road to El Puerto Surf City <laughs> Okay. okay, that's road. Okay, so on this part, it says ask for and provide short oral and written instructions to get to a location of a place. Let's say something we have been practicing. 
This is what you have on the manual. Good morning. Could you give me direction to the nearest hotel? Good morning. Sure. Walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. No problem. Of course, the conversation on the manual is very simple, very easy. So not necessarily directions are going to be hard or complicated to follow. They can be very simple. And here, yes, across, go straight, next to, behind. Here on this map, let's ask for some directions. Escriben como esta conversación fácil. Okay. Vamos a poner un punto de referencia por ahí. Porque si no, todos vamos a empezar de diferentes lugares. Vamos a empezar desde acá, desde esta calle, donde está la church. Yeah. Just in front of the church. Desde aquí sería el punto de partida. Entonces, yo le estoy diciendo, ex, Good morning, could you give me directions to, to the bank? Podría ser. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, como ustedes quieren saludar, excuse me, si lo quieren agregar para sonar más polite. Could you give me directions to the bank? Y ustedes están acá. Ustedes tienen que hacer que la persona llegue hasta el bank. So go straight ahead on 2nd Street to Main Street and turn left. Go for one block and the bank is on the right next to the police station. Así de fácil. Ah. <ríe> Recuérdense, el punto de partida, el punto de referencia es de church. Entonces, de ahí ustedes tienen que hacer la pregunta hasta qué lugar quieren llegar y tienen que dar la respuesta también cómo llegar a ese lugar. O sea que prácticamente usted va a crear todo, la conversación de el speaker que pregunta por el address de algún lugar y usted también va a crear la respuesta que le va a dar el speaker B de cómo llegar a esa address. Y luego, pues, thank you very much and sure, no problem. ¿Sí está claro lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Es clear? Yes. Vaya, tomando yes. esta conversación como modelo, pero siguiendo la dirección en este map desde la iglesia. Clear as the water. Al menos una conversación tiene que tener cada uno. At least one. Igual pueden apoyarse con su compañero si tienen alguna duda.
¿Cómo lo hizo usted, Daniel? Daniel, no lo he hecho. Cindy. Aquí ahorita. Eh, con Strip, esta es. ¿eh? Ajá, es la calle que está ahí. Ah, chico, yo no estoy compartiendo. <risa> no está <te> compartiendo. <risa> loca yo. Bueno, pero sí ya lo vi. Ya mejoró, fíjate que a ver cómo vos decís que quizás el internet. Uh -huh. Vaya, sería Wake Up de Second Street. Second Street. Vaya. Sería entonces. Vaya, puso eso. Va. Uh -huh. Entonces diría Cross to the left. Porque va a cruzar a la izquierda. Espérame, quiero ver dónde está eso. Porque subió, va. Wake up. Uh -huh. Entonces ahora va cross of the left. Va a cruzar a la izquierda. Cruzar a la izquierda. Uh -huh. Va que ella mandó unas que se esas cositas también. ¿Y ¿no? cómo se dice? ¿Cómo? ¿El qué? Cruzar a la izquierda. ¿Cómo se dice? Cross, cross to the left o solo to the left. Se Ajá, dice pero vamos a poner to the left. O solo to the left. No. Cross. Cross to the left. El que ha enviado. Cruzar a la izquierda. To uh -huh. left. Es to left. To left. Sí. To, left. to the left. Cross to the left. Cross. Cross. Te lo voy a mandar al chat. ¿Por qué? Es que tengo como dudas porque a cross to left o solo to left. Porque es yo que, sé cómo uh -huh. cruzarse, es como cruzarse la calle. Ajá, uh -huh. cross. Cruzar a la izquierda, la pero no calle. sé, ¿verdad? Sí. Es que si va... Solo ¿Qué? es turn left. Solo es, que es cruzar. Solo es, uh -huh, sí. Solo es 
to left. Cru Dar cruzar al... es to left. Ajá. Cruzar, ajá, cruzar es to left. Correcto. Entonces sería cruzar a la izquierda. Right. To left. Ajá. Y, ajá, solo to left. To left. Y podría ser next to. Dice, guacá, second ester. To uh -huh. left. To left, main street. Main, sí, main street. Cruza a la derecha, sería okay. en la avenida, por la Main Street. Por the Main Street. Vaya, cruzamos okay. a la derecha y sería... Vaya. Sería... Behind... Eh, in Bank y... Store. Sí. Entre. O podría ser en medio. No. Ajá, entre el banco y el store. O sería como. Entre el banco. Ajá, y May Street. Between. Turles no. May Street, ¿verdad? Ajá, Turles May Street. Ok. ¿Cuál es behind y cuál es between? Ya me confundí. Ya me Between es entre. No, between es entre, ¿verdad? Between Ajá. es entre y behind es a la par, ¿verdad? Mm, okay. Ahora ya vemos. To left, main between street. es entre dos cosas. Eh, behind es atrás. Behind. Detrás. Ah, o a la Pero... par, a la par. No, ¿verdad? Es detrás. Acuérdate que es el, el, la policía que estamos buscando, no es otra cosa. Ajá. Ah, entre. Eh, Mejor entre. Be, eh, between. Ajá, no, between. The bank y the store. Ajá, uh -huh. así quedaría. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así sería. All right. Somebody wants to share? Hi. All right. Good evening. Call to give me direction to the store. Good evening. Sure. Walk off the second street. Store on the left. Thank you. Don't work on only that. Okay. To the store. All right. Turn left, and the store is on the right, next to the police station, or across from the movie theater. Right. Someone else. Tatiana. Good morning. Could you hear me direct? Could you give me direction to the bank? Good morning. Sure. Walk out the street and turn left on the corner of the hospital. And you'll see the bank on the right next to the police station. 
Yes, great. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, good. Next. Next, next, next. Very good. The chair is yes. the, the hotel. I don't, I don't see. You don't see the hotel? Yes. There is not a hotel. There is not. <laughs> no. No, in todas las ciudades hay hotel. I think there is only a church, a I... hospital, a movie theater. Mm -hmm. Yo puse uno eh, frente del banco. Ah, okay. On Entonces, this space, like here. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, right. Entonces, then. And then you have to get permission to come to the hotel. I, my, my dialogue is. Mm -hmm. And say. Good morning. Can you give me direction to the New York Hotel? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is one in front of the bank. Walk up on the second street and to the left at the main streets. Go straight. The go straight. The hotel is in front of the bank. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Okay, yes, the hotel is, in this case, across from the bank. Yes. Nice. Someone else? Someone else. No Reese. more? Yes? Go. Go. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Could you give me direction the to the police station good morning sure wake up second street and the left main street between the bank and the store thank you no problem all right the police station is between the bank and the store nice very good is stamps too. <laughs> All right, another person, another partner, another colleague. Mm -hmm. No more, no more dialogues, no more conversations. Are you sure? Nobody talk about the library. Nobody wants direction to go to school. Nobody wants direction to go to a train station, to a restaurant, to the movie theater, to the drugstore. Ah, oh, una cada uno les hubiera asignado, ¿verdad? Eso es, lo he hecho. Pero uno confiando en la integridad de la gente. De hecho, yo sí pensé que era que nos iba a dar uno cada uno. A la próxima. Lección aprendida voy a escribir. Lesson learned. Pero yo sí lo hice. Ay, no. Me agarré uno cerca. I know, Daniel. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Bueno, los demás son los que tienen la responsabilidad porque no han hecho nada. The responsibility is to practice. So, by creating a conversation, we can practice. But it's okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, ese es el vocabulary que tienen ahí en el manual. Obviamente, ya lo habíamos visto. Go straight, go past, turn left, turn right, go up, go down the street, walk down the street, go on for two blocks, take the first left, take the first right, bye. Do the phrases above have a subject? 
tienen un sujeto estas frases aquí arriba? ¿Sí o no? ¿Tienen un sujeto? Sí, pero está tácito. <risa> Very good. Pero así, textual, literal. No, no tiene. Por tanto, los imperativos se le dan a una persona directamente. A quien estoy hablando, ¿verdad? So, use of verb without a personal pronoun is an imperative. O sea, el hecho de dar un verbo directamente es un imperativo. No necesariamente los imperativos solo sirven para dar direcciones, les decía. Cualquier instrucción que usted le da a alguien le está dando un imperativo. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, close the door, come here, turn on the lights, turn off the lights, turn on the computer, complete this, eso ya son imperativos. Obviamente, se hace como más evidente el uso de los imperativos cuando damos direcciones que le decimos, oh, váyase por esta calle, doble a la derecha, doble a la izquierda, cruce, ok, ahí están siendo como mucho más obvious. Yes? Yeah. Ok, es imperative for directions, ya lo vimos. Sí. Aquí va a seguir la, ese círculo. Bueno, ahí está. Vale, ¿qué tenemos que hacer acá? ¿Tiene uh -huh. idea? Por <laughs> dar las instructions y es orden ordenar las palabras para dar las instructions ok eso es algo que vamos a resolver obviamente con nuestros partners si necesitan ayuda pero de lo contrario todo lo deberían de tener escrito ok eso es algo también que está en el manual se los muestro rápidamente Es here. No, yet. Espérenme. It's somewhere. Bueno, la verdad es que aquí les han dado como mucho más repaso, pero esos, esos exercise de repaso completo de la unidad lo vamos a hacer tomorrow. Pero déjenme ver. I guess it was here. Uh -huh. No. Hold on. Give me a second. Aquí tenemos lo de los imperativos. Ok, go by, take a taxi. A la sopa de pito. Wait a second. All right, it's just a review of the use of the imperative. Let me just share the screen with you and then we complete the exercise. Hold on. One second, please. All right, try to solve it and then you give your answers, okay?
Ok, solo eso vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí, ok. Sí, solo eso vamos a hacer. Ok. okay la primera es... Sí, ¿verdad? Yo creería que sí. Veamos cómo dice. Ajá, así sería. Uh -huh. Entonces, listen, 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 This song. Song. Uh -huh. Escucha esta canción. Uh -huh. Listen to this song. The read instruction. Vamos. Yo, yo las estoy escribiendo, no sé. Uh -huh. Sí, también. La otra sería real de instruction. Real. ¿Sí? sí, ¿verdad? Open, um, open, open, um, um. Open don't your book. Ajá, por favor. No que sí. No hagas libro. Ajá. The phone. Um, the phone. Two tickets for concert. ¿Va? Compra dos tickets para el concierto. The buy two tickets for concert. Yes. Buy two. 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 Solo buy. Buy two. Solo buy. Ajá, buy. Solo buy. Buy buy two. Two. For the concert. For the concert. For the concert. For the concert. Y en la ocho, ¿cómo le pusieron ustedes? Open don't, don't your book. Don't open your book. Ajá, uh -huh. yo, yo le había puesto don't open. Mm. Pero no sé. Don't open es open. Don't open, sí, le, le está instruyendo que no abra el libro. Uh -huh. Don't open your book. Don't open your book. Ok. Uh -huh. La dos no escucha a nadie. Listen to this song. 
la seis. Go strip ahead for three blocks. Blocks. No son tatuajes. Creo que muy bien. Así les quedó. Pero que no la tres, 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 Mm -hmm. Go and string ahead. Say money. Say money. Y la cuatro, don't answer. At the book. Don't answer at the book. Uh -huh. Y la uno, ¿cómo les quedó? Tour left on the street baker. A mí así me quedó. Gire en la calle panadero. Gire de izquierda en la calle panadero. ¿Cómo les quedó a los demás? También. ¿Cómo? No escuché. Go to a street. No, la uno. No, esa no. Ah, ok. La uno, ¿cómo le quedó? Ah, permítame que como ando un poco mal la cabeza. Ah, no. no. Oh. So, All right, did you finish? Yes. Let's see the answers to the exercise. Yes. Okay, let's see. The first one, number one. What is number one? Turn on the left. On the left the street. Baker Street. Turn left. Turn left. Mm -hmm. Turn left. On Baker Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On Baker Street. Turn left on Baker Street. Then number two. Which is the number two? Listen. Listen to this song. Listen to this song. Listen to this song. Read the instruction. Read the instructions. Number four. One answer at the book. Don't look. Don't look, but don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. Si fuera answer, el verbo no tendría ese. 
Pero esas ah. son respuestas. Don't look. Don't look at the answers. Porque está okay, naturalizado. Okay. Si fuera un verbo, no tendría eso. Mm. Don't look at the answers. Five. Please write, write your name. Please. Okay. Desde madrugada, ¿eh? Please write your name. <laughs> Yo tengo una granja en mi casa. There was a farmer had a dog. <laughs> Old Daniela had a farm. <laughs> Bye, number six. Go straight ahead for three books. <laughs> Ay, no, qué pena. <laughs> It's okay. Solo que es bien curioso porque para vez escucho ya le doy dos cantadas a la gente. No, no tiene nada. But in your house, I, I think your rooster is surprised that you're still awake. Creo que está sorprendido que aún esté despierta. Pero no está cantando. So, <laughs> going straight ahead for three blocks. All right. And the number seven. Bye. Bye. Two. Bye. Two. Ticket <laughs> for the concert. Bye. Two tickets for the concert. And the last one. Don't open your book. Don't open your book. Well, I don't know. Well. Any other question? Any question? No? All right? Everything okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Bueno, eso no Hasta el gallo está aprendiendo en inglés. Sí, yo veo que es muy bilingüe ahora. Lo he trazado bueno. porque está cantando ahorita. Va a sí, está adelantado, sí. creo yo. Ah, sí, adelantado. <ríe> Vaya, para la plataforma, creo que esta es una referencia muy importante. Eh, el hablar de los instructions que se dan cuando va a usar uno de diferentes tipos de transporte aquí tienen una pequeña conversación que habla sobre a un lugar pues un poco lejos verdad excuse me how do I get to the airport generalmente el aeropuerto no nos vamos manejando ni caminando ni en bus okay, so well the airport is very far away so you can go by taxi right Thanks. I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a rent a car near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. By es otra opción, rentar un carro. Usually at the airport, people rent cars. So go by. No sé si hay algún ejercicio. No recuerdo si hay algún ejercicio de la plataforma que tengan que utilizar el go by. Use go by to specify the means of transportation go by bus go by car by plane by foot el go by es para especificar el tipo de transporte que se va a utilizar aquí tienen algún ejercicio también de clasificación place means of transportation uh, write the name of three different uh, places around your company to change the case tres diferentes lugares y qué transporte utilizan para llegar desde su empresa. Y ahí está. Se agarra todo, hombre. Ok, aquí tienen algunas questions y cómo se responde. Obviamente. Ahorita, todavía se usa el caballo. Sí, quizás en algunos lugares, no necesariamente en las ciudades, pero. Sí. Ya, yeah, maybe. Ok. Igual, acá tienen las tricks. La explanation de get and go. Look at the words and bold. Okay, and complete the sentences. How can I get to the trade center? I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6 30. Okay, how do you go to work? I'm going to go to a conference center after the check in. I go home around. So, get to ask for direction or to emphasize the idea of. 
motion from one to B. En go is to specify the means of transport. Eso es como llegar, en general. Y el go es como más ir en qué tipo de transporte. Ok, so eso es algo que vamos a concluir mañana, pero quería que ya lo tuvieran en esta perspectiva, pues eh, puede ser que hayan exercises de este en la plataforma y que ustedes pueden ir adelante. Obviamente también se viene lo del repaso en general de la unit 4. Pero será tomorrow, because it's time. Así que tomamos la última tendencia. Carolina. Sí, gracias. Present. Good sí. night. Good night, Cindy. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Daniel. Present, teacher. Good night, Daniela. Good night, teacher. Present, teacher. Good night, Dani. Tatiana. Present. Good night, Dolores. Present. Good night, Edwin. Juliana. Gloria. Present. Guillermo. Present. Night. Lilian Estela. Present. Night. Ok, José Miguel. No, Julio. No. Uh, Carla. Present, Miss. Good night. Night, Lady. Oh, Lady se tuvo que retirar de ese día, Juan. Diana Laura. Present, teacher. Good night. Night. Omar. Present, teacher. Night. Xiomara. Yes or no, Xiomara? Yes. <laughs> yes or yes. La veo con mi mirada. Yes or no. yes. Okay, good night everybody. See you tomorrow for the good last night, class. See you de teacher, de good night. La encuesta. Tomorrow is the last class. Good night. Bye. Okay, teacher, good night. Bye. Bye, teacher.